I'll be honest, I had no intention of filming a video today, but I'm kind of just showing off and having fun with the new Sony camera. But yeah, we have something else to talk about today. YouTubers are actually telling the truth about upgrading your gear. And I am surprised, to be honest, because I didn't expect it to be like this. Rewind, for those of you who don't know, I just went out and got a Sony a7 IV, or I shouldn't say I went out and got it. I, I ordered it on Amazon. By the way, a link to it will be in the description if you wanna order one yourself. But I ordered a Sony a7 IV off of Amazon. Previously in my videos, I was using a Canon T8i. I'm noticing a little bit of a difference, but not much, not much. And it's crazy when I compare the footage I was using for my actual like iPhone footage, like my iPhone 12 footage to my Sony a7 IV, the back camera is really not that much off from this camera. And it, it's crazy because this Sony a7 IV with the kit lens was like $2,600, $2,700. And then the iPhone is obviously, I got the, the 512 gig, so that came to around $1,400 two years ago. And I you know, get it on my phone bill. So I really don't even pay that. I just pay the tax of the device up front. So really it costed me a hundred dollars up front and I got this phone. Not to mention I got a buy one, get one deal where I got Alyssa's phone for free as well. So it was kind of, or I shouldn't say for free. I paid the tax on her phone as well. And they give you like a bill credit on your phone bill if you do it like that. It's, it's a weird situation. I, I enjoy it, it's fine. Cause I mean, either way I only pay for one. So what do I care? I was actually very disappointed when I got to Playlist Live and found out that I had my Canon T8i battery dead with no charge. And then I actually filmed the video on my smartphone and came back and filmed the narration part with my Sony A5100. And the quality is amazing. And it's not because of the cameras. It really comes down to my knowledge of color correcting these cameras. I feel like I didn't need to upgrade to the Sony a7 IV because I learned how to color correct. And after learning color corrections, I was able to really make, you know, these not so great cameras look really good with lighting and color correction. I'm, I'm just looking back at it now. I mean, even sitting here recording this, like this is fun and the, the footage looks great. I'm not upset about buying it at all. Like I love the camera. That's actually why I'm filming this video. I love the camera. I'm just saying it's weird to say that I don't think I needed to get it. I got it because I wanted it. So when, YouTube, when YouTubers tell you don't invest in equipment and they say that, I think I talked about that in a video before I said, don't invest in equipment, invest in knowledge. Like that's the full story, invest in the knowledge because I learned how to color correct and now every single one of these cameras to me almost looks the same by the time I finish doing my color corrections and my uh, color grading to the videos. They all look almost identical and it's so weird because even when I was doing the thumbnails, I expected a huge difference in thumbnail quality from what I got and I didn't see it. I haven't seen it at all. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys have seen like a difference. I mean, it's, so it's different in a sense of the equipment gave me more, like, I don't, I, I don't even know how to word this, but the equipment almost gave me like a renewed level of like, I don't wanna say confidence, but like creativity in my brain where like, I'm now thinking like, oh, let's take this shot with it. Let's take this shot and get this creative look. It's almost like it's more fun for me because I have the fancy equipment. So I'm more inclined to record, more inclined to take weird angle, more inclined to take weird angles and take weird shots so that like I could get a better quality of product in, in the end, a fin better finished product. It's not the equipment being better. It's just me being better with the new equipment. And honestly, all these things that I'm doing with the Sony a7 IV, I'm realizing that I could have easily done with the Canon T8i or with the Sony a5100 and the levels of price difference between them are crazy like crazy so i said all that to say like if you go through our listen julian channel like if you go through our listen julian channel where we have our reactions you can literally scroll through and see the thumbnails like you cannot pick out the day we got the new camera versus the day we did like the day we were using a5100 for thumbnails like, I'll pull it up and I'll scroll through it for you guys on camera. There's no clear point where we're like, oh yeah, that's definitely the day, day we switched over, at least to me. And even the video quality is like, yes, they look more crisp and a better finish to it, 
but like it's not like um what i expected i don't know what i expect i don't know if i expected 3d people to be popping out of the screen but again i color corrected the actual camera in the recording process in obs so the a5100 actually started to look better because i color corrected uh obs filming portion of it to make it look better and it's so weird it's so weird to look at it's so weird to do like even in the Photoshop, the, the uh, camera raw filter I apply on our on our photos, I actually put such a strong effect on it and I saved the template. I had to scale back the amount of correcting I did when I got the a 74 So basically, it's the, it was the same thing. It's just like the amount of edits I put in, I'm just doing less work, which I had made it fast for myself so that it wouldn't be much work anyway i don't know maybe i'll have to play with it and go back in camera raw filter and kind of find a new like happy medium for the camera raw filter edits who knows we'll see maybe i'm just i'm thinking this is weird and i'm doing all kinds of weird deductions in my brain i don't see much difference in quality which is good and bad like it sucks because you spend a lot of money and expecting to get like a you know a better quality product but it's good in a sense that like i know my skillshare membership and my money i spent in these products are or not in these products in these courses are actually doing you know wonders for me and the time i spent are doing wonders for me because what is what isn't i don't learn on skillshare i learning on youtube and maybe i'm actually doing something wrong in my recording process that's not allowing the sony a7 IV to receive its full potential uh, maybe some uh, there's some youtubers out there who are watching this that could tell me like hey you're doing this that's making you get less potential out of the camera or there's something that's like making them both the cameras like kind of equal out in the output or whatever the final product looks like like and maybe it's me that's what all i'm trying to say maybe it's me and if it is me guys somebody who's a professional or not even a professional but someone who shoots video and knows that i'm messing up just tell me i'm messing up and I could fix it, but that's just my deduction of the situation. I don't necessarily think you need this camera, and I don't, I, it's not a camera review, because trust me, if you want a camera review, I could do one, by the way. It's not a full camera review, and I'm not really, I don't want to say I'm not qualified, but I don't know enough yet, I feel like, to give a quality camera review of this camera. I'm still messing with it, but eventually I could give a camera review if you guys would be interested in that. But this is more so to say, like, initial thoughts, guys, learn the skills first, because really, None of this matters if you don't know what you're doing when it comes to plugging the camera in, angling it right, lighting it right, correcting it right, and then finally grading it correct. Because once you do all those things, none of this matters. Like this whole room is gonna look completely different from what it looks like now once I finish grading. And I love it. I'm I'm not trying to flex in any way like about skill or anything like that. Like I'm really just trying to help you guys save some money and take this right here and put it to work because at, at the end of the day like there's like people who want to do reactions like me and Alyssa do like if you want to set up reactions essentially you could just set this bad boy up on a tripod and i think they even have like a wireless connection app through elgato now the app is like 10 bucks you could just set it up stand it up and record or just even stream with it just set up on a tripod dude the tripods for these things are like 10 bucks too so as opposed to spending three grand and plus all the things this camera needs to be really effective while the accessories needs to be effective you could save all that and just get a little tripod for 10 20 bucks and honestly you probably be fine even if you wanted to be a little fancy and get a ring light for like 50 you'd be really good like you you'd end up being fine a lot of people don't like ring lights though because the circle and the eyes i don't blame you but that's neither here nor there. Either way, you could spend a whole lot less money and have a great finished product. But that's my thoughts. Uh, if you wanna hear more or wanna see a camera review, let me know. By the way, the camera that I'm using now and the cameras that I used in the past are linked down below. Uh, so go check those out if you are interested in those. But we're out of here, guys. Keep grinding, keep chasing dreams. Remember, nothing with happening because easy, we out. Peace.